Okay, so on this next frame, um, we just take it off visibility for a second so we can see the previous frame. Um, you can see that what happens is on a new frame, the leg closest to us goes back a little bit further and you know if you took a line directly up you can see how much further back than the head it is. The sh foot actually becomes a little bit shorter as the sort of foot starts to move up. Um, the, the leg that's furthest away from us, uh, the knee comes out and the foot is hidden behind uh, the leg nearest to us. If we just compare that with the last one, you can see how that's moving forward. Uh, the entire body has gone up uh, by one pixel. So we just compare the two. You can see how it starts to come back up as this leg that's nearest to us straightens out a little bit. And the arms, the one that's furthest from us, is only just visible as, as it starts to move back uh, and transition so that it's going from its sort of forward position to its back position. You can see it's just the edge of that there. And the arm nearest to us, uh, if we compare it to the last frame, it's gone from sort of following the line of the back almost to starting to move forwards uh, and starting to head uh, sort of um, out front as it were. Okay, so those are the main changes on this one. Um, what's going to happen on the next one is we're going to see that this foot nearest to us is going to start raising off the floor. You're going to see this leg start coming forward uh, and this arm coming much more forward. Because remember, the arms and the legs do the opposite movement. So if the right arm is going forward, then the left leg um, is, is sort of heading backwards, as it were. Um, okay, right.